Show me how you shoot a deer. Bear. Excuse my hair and face and attire. We are about to process Heath's black buck that he shot. Instead of taking it to get it processed because he's already shot a couple other animals this year, we are going to attempt to process it ourselves. Um, process as in make all of the meat into either like hamburger meat, sausage, steaks, etc. Um, so we are going to attempt to do that to our, for ourselves for the first time. Um, he borrowed the equipment to process it from my cousin Mikey. So thank you, Mikey, for letting us use your stuff. Um, yeah, so he went and bought this brisket because I think you're supposed to mix the black buck meat with some brisket for hamburger meat. And then these are, this is steak we're having for dinner. Okay, so we are, I figured it'd be fun to take you along on our first time processing a deer because we don't know what we're doing. And, you know, maybe it's like good trial and error for people that want to do it themselves. So right now Heath is just cutting all the meat off the bone. Right? Black buck are smaller animals. You said it probably weighed what, 80 pounds? Yeah, probably 80 pounds. Yeah, so not a whole lot of meat. Of Tell me about your um, black buck that you shot. Mine. Hmm? Can't be giving my hunt spots away, Jack. It's a deer lease. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. We cut the black buck into small enough chunks to fit into the meat grinder, and here we are just putting them in. So it turns out we forgot an essential piece here that helps chop up the meat as you're putting it through the grinder and helps it to flow through that end piece better. Had a slight rolling. malfunction, yeah, forgot I'm one piece. This thing is junk. <laughs> forgot one piece of the meat grinder, but now we have it and it is working. Welcome to the Harris meat processing. We go all natural, we're all natural. As organic as it gets. Boss cow, butcher. Comes to me, definitely the most organic I'm gonna get out of here. Everybody, you wanna do another one? Mm -hmm. Use this. Now we're mixing the brisket and the black buck together to make hamburger meat. It's all mixed together. Huh? Are we eating dinner tomorrow? Cause like, that would be so. Yeah. I guess I'm on you. Got our big helper. While Heath and I were doing all the meat situation, packing it up, whatever, the baby took it upon himself to come over here and find baking stuff and pour it out and he was making snow angels in it. Decided he was gonna dump cake mix out all over the ground and play in it. Is that fun? I just finished weighing all of, or we just finished bagging them, weighing them all, writing the date and the weight on each bag. Um, Cause we made them kind of big. The bags are kind of big, like two pounds each, um, which is fine. Cause I always have to cook at least two pounds of hamburger meat for my family. So we just finished doing that. I think we're done processing the black buck. Um, it took us a little bit of trial and error to get that grinder going and figure out exactly what we were doing. Hopefully it, um, taste great so yeah we got let's see oh i don't even know how many pounds but we got all of this hamburger meat and then this is back strap oh pouring blood on the counter great this is back strap that we will save and cook um probably like typically with the back strap we i don't know how black buck um is but we typically We'll like tenderize it and fry it. I am now going to clean up all of the meat processing stuff and 
the little um, baking situation that Hanson made. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will definitely have to cook some of the meat and let you know how it tastes. Really hoping that it's good. Um, I mean, overall, it's processing a deer can be pretty pricey. So um, since the black buck was such a small um, animal, I think it was worth doing it at home um, to be determined on flavor. So thanks for watching our video. We'll keep you posted on how this stuff tastes. Thanks guys.